Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Let's Get Loud podcast. This is a solo episode with A. So you guys get only A on Fridays until to be determined. We just kind of rearranged uh, what, how things are going and who's in charge of what right now. And I am the solo Friday podcaster. So I got a lot of ideas last time in my DMs. I would love for you guys to do the same. Send me a message with anything that you would like to hear discussed on the pod. Okay. How is everyone? How is back to school? Full swing of things. It's like you blink and you're back to it. It's been great over here. Enjoying the more focused work time for me. I was ready to be less summer fun. I was ready to stop. I didn't want to pack another lunch for another fun road trip. Isn't that coming from a place of privilege? I was ready to really put my head down and do some work. But that's easy for me to say because I I love my work. I adore it. How, I don't want to say lucky. Lucky is really not the right word. Not even privilege. I'm not sure. Grateful? Let's go with grateful. Am I that I get to help women achieve their goals for a living? That's what I get to do. Yes, please. Anyways, um, so that's what's been going on with me. I've been trying to think of things to update you guys on. Uh, Alfie is playing football. Phoebe and Piper playing basketball and cross country and we're doing tutoring. So things are good there. Um, as far as my own personal maintenance journey, because uh, I am I am on maintenance. I've been on maintenance forever. But what people think maintenance looks like and what it feels like and what you have to do. I think sometimes there's a difference between the two. So really I arrived at maintenance when my weight loss stopped because I was creating an authentic life for myself. And it kind of gets to the point where you're like, sure, I could do more to lose more, but I really love my life. Listen, guys, this is a little pep talk moment where I wish that everyone listening, everyone in the world, that their goal was not to be as thin as possible. Because here's the thing, you're never going to get there. You can always be thinner. And if you were just constantly chasing thinner, that sounds exhausting. So what I would love for people to be chasing is living their life in a body they feel comfortable in. And that doesn't have a look, that doesn't have a size, that doesn't have a weight. And you are allowed to choose whichever weight you feel like is where you are comfortable. Now, here's the thing. If you're listening and you feel like you have 70 pounds to lose, 100 pounds to lose, 50, 30, 20, you don't actually know that that's how much you want to lose. You just don't. All you know is that you, there are, there is, you want to lose weight. That's all you know. That's all you need to know. Take it a pound at a time. Take it five pounds at a time. I've seen this happen so many times with people in their brain. They've decided they need to lose 30 pounds. So then they set off and they get to 25 or 22 or 23. And they're the, the scale slows down, not because they're broken, not because they're on the plateau, because just their lifestyle is no longer creating a calorie deficit. Their body requires less energy now that it is smaller. And they've just gotten to a point where their body, they're not creating a calorie deficit anymore. And I see them get frustrated and I see them get discouraged. And then I see them give up and then often gain all the weight back. When if perhaps they would have just paused and looked around and been like, wait, I'm actually really happy. Something similar happened with me with Jose. So, I mean, some of you guys might know my story. Some of you might not. So I joined Your Way Weight Loss in 2016, January, 2016. And for sure, I was ready to do this differently. I had done every single diet. I had gained and lost 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds over and over and over as my adult life. And I, my twins were one, Alfie was three. And I was like, okay, Alicia, you're very tired and you are not living your full potential. And so I went into it. I'm like, I'm going to do it different this time. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to prioritize my happiness along the way. And I'm not setting a timeline and I'm not setting a goal weight. Well, I lost 50 pounds that first year. And then the next year I lost 20. And then for a couple of years after that, I was always trying to lose my last 10 like in an exhausting way. Like I couldn't say it out loud anymore. Cause I was like, well, here we go again. I'm going to lose my last 10. 
And, you know, I'm very grateful for the relationship that I have with Joseph. She's such an inspirational human being on a personal and a professional level. And she is further along on her body acceptance journey, weight loss journey, mindset journey than I am much farther along. And she said, Alicia, you're so happy. And I just like paused and I looked at my beautiful life with my beautiful family and my friends and cocktails on the patio and having people over for supper. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. And so I just want to remind you guys that if you are on, you know, maybe you've lost some or I don't know, just I want to remind you, if you hear yourself in what I just said, that it's not just about losing that last 10 and being as thin as possible. Because if I really took a step back and said, am I comfortable in my current body? Is my current body enough for me to do everything I want to do in life? And the answer was yes. And then I was like, do I love my lifestyle? Yes. So then why are you putting yourself through, got to lose the last 10. Yeah, we're going to do it. Woo. And maybe I will one day, maybe I'll get to a point where I'm like, no, I'm ready. Let's do this but right now. I'm just enjoying it. Like I had this moment while on my walk yesterday that if you guys are still really struggling with, and it's not necessarily struggling with your weight, but struggling with where, where you're at in a sense, like maybe you don't anyways, I had this moment of almost peace. And it was like, oh my gosh, I, it, today I haven't thought about being thinner. Like, and that's a big deal for someone like me who has struggled their entire life, no matter what size my body was, I was always trying to be thinner. And just yesterday, having that moment at 3 PM after my walk, and I was like, I was at no point today was my mental energy on being thinner. Imagine you guys, I know people can connect with this. We spend so much of our mental energy focusing on being thinner. It is exhausting. And so I don't, I just, oh, I was going to tell you guys about my journey. So I am on maintenance, but I couldn't just say I'm on maintenance because I had to really explain it. So what does maintenance look like to me? So over the past five, six years, I've maintained within 10 ish pounds, my weight. So sometimes I go down to like at 162, um, up to 172. Okay. So 162 to 172, not that the numbers matter, but I'm just sharing with you guys. I'm five, nine. Um, you know, when people say to me, oh, I didn't think you weighed that much. I'm like, that's not a necessary comment. It, it doesn't matter. The number doesn't matter. So I, I vary, um, about 10 pounds. It depends on the time of year. I always gained a bit of weight in the summer, maybe after the holidays, I'm a bit heavier. It just really depends on the season, the season of life and where I'm at. But I obviously feel more comfortable when I'm 165, let's say like, that's like the magical number where I just really feel comfortable and I can live a comfortable life. And just these last couple of weeks being back to routine, I have very easily gotten back to my comfortable weight, which just feels good. And so I guess I just needed to update you guys on, on where I was at with that. I think it's important that we share where we're at. I'm honestly not focusing a ton of mental energy on that part of my life right now. I'm focusing on work. I'm just focusing on work. Let's be honest. I am hustling over here. I'm just focusing on work. And so I'm not there's more important things right now to, than making my body smaller. I am weight training twice a week. Uh, I was so sore. Oh my gosh. I did like a baby workout. Oh my gosh. I think I was sore for a week. So the weight training thing is really, I like the way it makes me feel. I want to live until I'm a hundred. I want to chase around my grandkids. I want to live as long as possible, as independent as possible. And I know that what I can do something that I can do right now to facilitate that is to be weight training. So I am doing that, but I'm not making it a big thing. Uh, like I said, twice a week, it's like a 20 minute workout. So it's not a big commitment. It's funny. The hardest part for me, I do it right after my walk. So when your guys are trying to create a new habit, just stack that one onto one that you already have. That has been the easiest thing for me. How can I just stack that habit onto something that I'm already doing? I already go for a walk almost every single day. So what I do is instead of doing my like 
nine kilometer loop, I only do my six kilometer loop when I'm going to weight train. And it's like, it's hard for me sometimes. Like today I'm like, I want to weight train, but look how beautiful it is out. I'm going to want to go for a nine K anyways, we'll see. We'll see. But I guess that's a sign that you really do love your, uh, how you move your body. Okay. I think that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a short update on my life and what's been happening and what maintenance looks like. And next week, we're going to talk about your relationship with food and how to know if you have a toxic relationship with food. I'm going to record it right now. It's going to be a good one. So make sure you tune in next week. And of course, thank you guys so much for listening. And I love, love, love having conversations with you in your DMs. If anything I said today really connected with you and you're like, oh, maybe I am changing, chasing a number. Maybe I am just chasing thinness and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to chase quality. Send me a DM. Let's talk. And we'll figure out what the first steps are for you to stop that hamster wheel of thinner, thinner, thinner. Listen, one last thing. So many people I see think thinner will make them happier. You're wrong. Happiness will not come from you being thinner. So get off the hamster wheel and really look around and really start spending time doing things that fill your bucket and showing up as the person that you authentically are. That's what creates happiness. Okay, everyone. Happy Friday.